This is where I, this is where I think Jaron Jackson has gotten better. A lot more confident as a actual individual post up, especially for a big missing the first chunk of the season to come back and start as fast as he has. Just don't see that very often for a guy his size. Everybody on their feet for that filthy jam. Chandler going down the lane and daring anybody to step in his way. Playing the role of distributor to Brandon Clark. Yeah, I love the, I love the young fella's energy in this game. Came out with a nice dunk. At that time, he was more of a facilitator. Danny, I'd like to uh, apologize here on national. It's television. all good, man. I've been very lucky, man. And a lot of people forget because the college was a long time ago for me. So <laughs> another block. Now it's just a battle of the floaters. Who has the best floaters? <laughs> Three straight floaters in a row. First meeting of the season between these two teams. When you're a young player in this league, your first stop, sometimes not even your second stop, is where you're going to make your name. And for Culver, he's trying to find a home. He's trying to. Been able to get through on a nice little bounce pass look. Grizzly shooting 61% from the floor. Kaminsky banks it in. And he is already third place on the all-time franchise coaching wins list here. Two wins away from Dave Yeager. Well, one thing the Taylor Jenkins does, is, well, actually I should say two things, he gets his team to play hard and they play smart. You have to play hard and you have to play smart. I wonder if Powell may have texted Taylor Jenkins during that timeout, get Jackson out of the game. We've got a lot of big games coming up, trying to keep Jackson healthy. How everybody plays the right way. The locker room gets along. This this team is definitely championship ready. Like, there's there's really nothing bad you can say about this squad. They have guys that want to defend, guys that can hit shots, and they have a true superstar. And they got that guy, Roddy, finishing the transition. And they build this thing organically the way that they have. Zach Kleiman, their young boy wonder vice president. And now they can, can they take the next step in the legitimate championship contention? Yeah, and, and that's what has to happen. I'm glad you brought that up, Spiro. When, when you're in a small market, and now they can, can they take the next step in the legitimate championship contention? Yeah, and, and that's what has to happen. I'm glad you brought that up, Spiro. When, when you're in a small market, you're going to have to draft oh, your next smart. superstar. As they close in on their sixth straight win, and it's not surprising that they started off badly defensively as Kaminsky knocks down another three. Memphis builds on its lead. Now Williams, a guy who broke into Taylor Jenkins' rotation last year. Nice backdoor cut by Krejci. Brendan, just kind of a numbers game at this point with all the players that Jenkins has at his disposal. And, and sometimes it's like that, you know, you able to play right away, but that next season your minutes aren't quite the same. You can't get dejected, hold your head down. You have to just go back out there and wait for your opportunity. And what about Frank Kaminsky coming off the bench getting hot from three? And look how the crowd responds. They love it. Fan favorite. Boy, between Lofton and David Roddy, 